Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at SMB enumeration with the Nmap scripting engine, right? So SMB as a protocol, if you're not already familiar with, uh, stands for the server message block, right? And is primarily used for network uh, file and, uh, you know, peripheral sharing like printers and stuff like that. So again, it allows you to, it allows uh, computers to share files with each other. And um, uh, again, it allows them to communicate with each other in an organized manner. Uh, now, when we talk about SMB enumeration, uh, as you would have guessed, since it is a, a type of a communication protocol between uh, computers on a network, uh, we can get a lot of information from these computers and the information could uh, will range from, you know, things like the operating system they're running, the exact version they're running, uh, we can enumerate the type, uh, the version of the SMB protocol they're running. We can run various vulnerability scans, et cetera, et cetera. Now, um, when it comes down to SMB enumeration, as I said, uh, we typically are going to be dealing with port 445. And in this particular video, I will be covering, uh, I will be covering Windows. So uh, uh, right now in my lab, I have the Metasploitable 3 box set up, which is right here. You can see it has a local IP of 192.168.1.38. And uh, of course, this is running SMB, but it doesn't have any shares or any uh, file shares run uh, set up. And of course, we then have a Windows 7 box, which you don't need. Uh, you, you, you'd actually do not need for this particular video. I'm just going to be demonstrating a few important things. So I'll just drag that right over here. And this is the Windows 7 box, as you can see. And I've I created a file share called company files. And the reason for that will become very apparent shortly. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimize uh, both of these boxes and we can we can get started, right? So uh, right now, if I list out the Nmap scripts to do with SMB, so user share Nmap scripts and a pipe and grep, and we'll say uh, we're looking for SMB and uh, yeah, let's just say we're looking for all SMB scripts. All right. So you can see we have uh, quite a few, but not a lot, but uh, there are a few important ones here that are going to be quite useful. So for example, uh, let's take a look at um, the SMB double pulsar backdoor script, which again, a lot can be used to perform uh, a type of vulnerability scan that will actually scan uh, your system or a particular system to see if it's vulnerable to the double pulsar backdoor. And this is closely tied into MS1710, uh, which is the eternal blue exploit, which allows you to perform remote code execution and is uh, again affects uh, a lot of the older versions of Windows. And in this case, it actually affects both Windows Server 2008 and the Windows 7 box. And I'll be demonstrating all of this shortly. So the first thing we want to do is we want to enumerate the operating system that is running on these two devices. So our scan will be fairly simple. We're going to say sudo nmap. We're going to specify the port 445, right? And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say script and we will say SMB um, OS uh, discovery, right? So that is the script name. And then I can pass, uh, I can actually specify the target. So 192.168.1.38. Let's start off with the Windows uh, Windows Server 2008 box, which is the Metasploitable box. So I'll just hit enter and there we are. All right, so you can see we get the results immediately and uh, we get the, the target port, we get the MAC address and then for the script results, we get an exact match uh, regarding the operating system that, uh, that 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 particular box is running. Now you can see how important this is. We were able to get this information directly from just one port and that is of course the SMB port. So we can see it's running Windows Server 2008 R2 and it's running service pack one. So this can be very useful in trying to find potential exploits as we'll, we'll, we'll get to in a second and also can be used to again, plan out your attack vectors and how you're gonna perform privilege escalation, stuff like that, find potential CVEs, so on and so forth. The other important information we get is the computer name. So we can see the computer name is Vagrant 2008 R2. The net BIOS name, which is uh, again, Vagrant 2008 R2. We get the work group that is associated with and the system time. And uh, that can be very useful again. So that tells us what uh, operating system is running there. If we run this against our Windows 7 box, so 192.168.1.59, you can see it's running Windows 7 Enterprise 7601 Service Pack 1. Uh, it's part, the computer name is Internet Explorer or IE10 Windows 7. And that's uh, again goes for the computer name. So again, the SMB OS discovery script can be used to discover the operating system that is running on the target box. 
and uh, yeah you can see it's a very very useful script now now that we've established the the actual um uh, now that we've established the actual operating system that's running on the box we can now start enumerating some more information using the smb port and the various smb scripts that we have uh, at our disposal so the next one is we can say sudo and I'll just use the previous script and just switch out the script names uh, so we can say SMB, uh, if we want to enumerate the shares that are currently listed or that are currently active on that system, because as I said, the SMB protocol is stands for server, the server message block and is used to share files and, uh, you know, uh, devices like printers across the network. So we say SMB enum shares. And this will list out all the, the, the uh, or it will list out all the shares active on the target to also list out the permissions as to whether or not we can access those shares uh, either remotely or directly so uh, and with or without credentials so let's start off with uh, metasploitable 3 which is running windows server 2008 now this box does not have any um it does not have any shares on it so if i hit enter um, you can see that uh, we get the standard information but uh, for the first admin account you can see uh, for the admin share rather we get status we get access denied and that means we do not have any anonymous access for the c drive you can see we don't have anonymous access and we weren't able to authenticate or to list out the files there, thereafter and for ipc we get uh, the read permission but again we still cannot access it so uh, again i just wanted to show you this on a box that doesn't have any shares and then when when we talk about the windows 7 box which i have actually set up a few shares or actually set up one share will actually uh, give us the results that we're looking for so there we are um you can see for the admin uh the the type will will actually tell us that the the disk tree is hidden and uh, this again uh, gives us remote admin access anonymous access it's set to none and that pretty much means we can't access it remotely uh, for the c drive again we can't access it but we get a share here called company files right so uh i previously actually just showed this to you we have the company files in here and this doesn't have any files within it i just created it to show you that indeed if there are any smb shares uh, we will be able to see them and the most important bit of information is we'll get the actual read uh, or the user access that we can get to this particular share so again if we can actually get read and write access that will be great and of course for ipc we have read and write as well and then for the other users, uh, we only have read access. So uh, again, the SMB enum share script is very, very helpful at listing out shares, um, you know, uh, that, at listing out SMB shares that might have potential files. And this is great if you're, if you're in a CTF, this is usually a great vector, uh, you know, as to where, you know, the actual CTF creator might have hidden some files or there might be, this might be a, pot a potential access vector into the system. Right. So now that we've taken a look at SMB enum shares, we can start taking a look at other scripts like SMB enum users, which allows you to enumerate users. So again, we'll just clear this out. We'll say SMB enum uh, users and we'll hit enter. And uh, that doesn't seem to be working. Let's try and debug that script and let's see what the issue is. And um, looks like we have an issue with uh, or it doesn't actually look like an issue um it looks like we weren't enable or we weren't able to enumerate any users so uh now that we've we've taken a look at uh, you know some general enumeration let's get started with uh you know starting to perform uh vulnerability scans or you know a, a level of vulnerability analysis uh on our smb ports because uh, smb ports can be or are vulnerable to some very very powerful scripts uh, or some to some very powerful exploits um and of course as i just mentioned we have the eternal blue and the double pulsar vulnerabilities which uh, have plagued older versions of windows and still do to this day so again if we list out the nmap scripts user share nmap scripts and uh, we say you know we'll pipe this out and say grip uh we'll say smb and we're looking for the vulnerability scripts here of course we can actually use the double pulsar script here which will actually run shortly uh, but before we do that, we need to we need to actually uh, detect what version of the SMB protocol is actually running. So to do this, again, all we need to do is just change out the script here and say we want to um, we want to enumerate the protocol. So this is going to be SMB protocols, uh, and this will essentially just list out the version of SMB and the actual uh, the actual password structure. So uh, protocols, SMB protocols, and we'll start off with Windows Server 2008. We'll hit enter. And you can see 
uh, it tells us for SMB protocol, we're running NTLM and this is SMB version one, dangerous, but default. So again, uh, it just gives you an idea of the actual version of SMB that is running. And that again, can be used to, to again, plan uh, your attacks as you move forward or your exploitation. Um, so again, this will pretty much be the same on the Windows 7 box. So if I hit enter, you can see it's gonna also gonna tell me it's NTLM uh, SMB version one. And there we are. So again, we now that we know the protocols that are running, the operating system that's running, uh, we can now start performing our vulnerability scans. So uh, what we'll do is we will just run the uh, double pulsar script, which is a backdoor and um, SMB double pulsar backdoor. We'll run it on the Windows 8 uh, 2008 box, Windows Server 2008 box and let enter. Uh, so we don't get results there. Um, let's try this on the Windows 7 box. We hit enter. So that doesn't seem to be working. It's primarily because we need to specify a few script arguments. Uh, but before we do that, I want to take you through the Eternal Blue exploit or the Eternal Blue scanner. Uh, so uh, again, I'll just list out the Nmap scripts here and we'll just use the shortcuts. There we are. And uh, we are looking for MS17010, uh, which is the uh, Eternal Blue exploit. And uh, I'll actually show you this. So we can actually use the script to test and see if our targets are vulnerable to this uh, exploit, which again is a remote code, ex uh, a remote code execution or an RCE exploit. So We'll just run this script scan here and um, we'll run it against the Windows 2008 box, hit enter. And uh, you can see immediately we are, we, are, we are able to get the information we were looking for. So it is vulnerable to the remote code execution vulnerability that is currently uh, again affects SMB version one. So that's very important. And again, as I said, getting the protocols can shed light on what type of attacks the, uh, the, the current version of SMB is vulnerable to. So you can see we get the, uh, the the state and the ID and the risk factor, which tells us, you know, whether or not this is, we are more likely to exploit it or not. All right, so that is pretty much all that I wanted to cover in this video. As you can see, SMB enumeration is a very, very good, um, very good way of enumerating a lot of information about the target operating system and information that can be very useful as you move along with your penetration test. So that's going to be it for this video. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thank you.